Usman Dembele rejects PSG or did PSG reject him? Regardless, who cares? It's fantastic for Chelsea. Chelsea have got 200 million to spend, but there's a caveat that we all need to consider. And finally, we've got the truth about why Shua Menning is not getting pushed for by Chelsea. Tuchel's got something to do with it. Welcome to the Gaff guys, you guys. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about four major aspects. I'm gonna give you the 411, the transfer windows kicked off, it's popping, there's news everywhere, Reliable sources only, by the way. That's what we want to do on this channel. I don't want to be giving you no T Flow Sport or something like that. Proper, reliable sources. So, number one, Dembele, Le Parisien, L'Equipe are reporting he's not going to be joining PSG. We're going to break it down, give you the real details, what's going on, what is being reported, what is being said. Then we're going to talk about Marina Garavskaeva staying in charge now, but going forward, there'll be alterations made and the budget for this year. The budget for this year is 200 million, but there's a caveat that we're gonna talk about that needs to be hit. And finally, Shua Many is set to join Real Madrid. Liverpool are lurking, PSG are lurking, but Chelsea aren't, and we're gonna tell you why that is. It is interesting, it's super annoying, coming from a fan of Shua Many who would have wanted Shua Many at the club, but it's something we have to accept. But for all of that, I'm not asking for a super thanks feature, I don't care about that. All I want is a like button and a subscription to the channel. If you wanna be well informed, you want honest opinion, heart on a sleeve type stuff, where I speak my mind, I don't care if you get offended about my views on football. I give you my thoughts. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and in the comments below, let me know what number like you are so I remember you if I ever do a giveaway. Bruh, I'm most likely gonna be giving away to the people that are supporting the course from the beginning. So, support the course, peeps. So, La Keep and La Parisian are all reporting the story of the day. Story of the day is Usman Dembele rejects PSG. There are conflicting reports that say PSG reject Usman Dembele, but this is very interesting. It depends how you take it. No one cares who rejected who. The good thing is the deal's not going to be happening according to reports. One of the reasons is due to El Campos. Who is El Campos, you ask? PSG, after they hired Mbappe, got a new director of football. The individual's name is El Campos. He was in charge of Monaco when uh, Mbappe was coming through. He is well-renowned, very good at building squads, very good at saving money, and more importantly, getting the perfect contracts for young players and develop. And I'm guessing he believes that the money for Usman Dembele is not worth it due to his injury records, due to his availability patterns, and more importantly, PSG just don't need another winger. This is why I found it so bizarre why Usman would join. And a lot of you are gonna say, Alex, well, if that's the case for Usman Dembele going to PSG, why are Chelsea? Bruh, we have not got the talent that PSG have in the forward areas. They've got Mbappe, Messi, and Neymar. We have no, due, no disrespect. Werner, Havertz and Mount. I'm sorry, I like Havertz and Mount, but they're no Messi, Mbappe and Neymar, all right? Let's be honest. So this is good news. This means Chelsea can push, get us a new Usman Dembele who will take us to the next level in my opinion. A fit Usman Dembele is arguably Chelsea's best forward. So I hope this is something that we progress. But for that to happen, you need to have a certain amount of budget. And in this case, you need to have a sporting director and you need someone to guide the project forward. It's called project management, people. You need one, the head of the project. And in this case, we're still gonna have Marina Garavskaeva. So reports coming out from Nazir Kinsella at Goal.com is that Marina Garavskaeva will be remained in charge. However, going forward, Todd Bowley will implement his own transfer strategy. It's a strategy that they're going to use analytics with. It's a strategy that they're going to adjust and we're going to move forward. So if you don't know, Chelsea already use an analytic source. Chelsea were one of the first clubs to transition to an analytic source in signing players. It's just allegedly the software that they're using is kind of out of date now. It hasn't been updated in a while and a lot better softwares have been selected. A mixture of analytics and a mixture of eye test leads to this. And for me, this is very good because we need a refresh, we need an update. I'm not saying Marina's bad because I think Marina adds a lot of good. For example, commercially we've really improved, we've really improved at selling players, we've improved as an entity of a club. So the image, we just got best club of 2021 reputation wise, the award, that is prestigious. That's great for a corporate entity to receive. 
But once again, the transfer kitty for this is going to be 200 million. Every single one of you are saying result 200 million. We can load this squad up. Listen, there is going to be problems here. And it's problems that a lot of you don't understand because you're refusing to smell the coffee. And the coffee in this case is we need to sell to buy. And unless we sell, we're not going to buy. So Lukaku, Havel, Pulisic, Hakim Ziyech, they need to leave for Dembele to come in. One of them needs to go because you can't have, when the transfer window closes, seven forwards. And this is the issue. And what scares me more than anything is if Chelsea just get desperate and all of a sudden you sell brochure, you sell a Conor Gallagher, you go and sell a Billy Gilmore and you end up keeping players like Saul out of desperation. You end up keeping a Timo Werner because you can't get him off the wage book. Reports in Germany with Blinder coming out that no one wants to pay Werner's wages. And that is the truth. That's the harsh reality. We're going to have to basically give these players away at this moment in time. And that's the sad truth. So we need to be realistic. We need to be honest. And the Telegraph is even reporting that we are linked with great names. Raheem Sterling, Nunes, who I'm not convinced with, but he's a decent player apparently. That's what everyone tells me. I'm not convinced. Then Bele, Nkuku. And then there is Jonathan David. So it really fluctuates in the names that we are scouting, but it's going to be very expensive and we need to generate the funds. It's not going to be as easy as Tom Bowley's gonna sign a check and we're gonna sign these players. No, we have to generate some of the funds. There'll be a 75 million transfer key. We'll most probably get one player, but we'll have to sell to buy as well. So in regards to Shuameni, well, Shuameni is set to join Real Madrid. Apparently, Mbappe's wanted him as one of his first signings at PSG, along with Campos, but it looks like Shuameni's already decided he wants to go to Madrid, he wants to become a Madridista, and he wants to flourish there. Liverpool and PSG are eagerly anticipating to see if this deal concludes. If not, they will pounce. They're in touch with his agents, and that's what's being reported. However, the interesting aspect here is Chelsea aren't in the race. Chelsea are definitely not in the race at this moment in time. There's no reports coming out, nobody's saying anything, and the sad reality is I don't understand why. But then I spoke to an individual who is in the know with Chelsea, who knows people that most probably work for the club and has sources. And this person, whenever I speak to him, he's actually very reliable. He knows a lot more than he comes across. And then as soon as he told me this, reports came out about this, which was really interesting for me. Rice is Tuchel's first choice. And that's the sad reality we're gonna have to accept. And Saul was a stopgap signing. Saul was the signing that Chelsea made because they wanted to delay the inevitable of going to get Declan Rice eventually. Man, Rice is available for 100 million. If Chelsea are going to pay 60, 70, but just pay the 100 and sign the player. That's the sad reality. Just pay the money and get the player. Because what I've been told, Tuku is Rice or bust. All these stories that we're hearing about, I think it's the PSV defensive midfielder, the defensive midfielders from uh, like Shu and Many, Kamara, it was all smoke screens. It's players that Chelsea have been scouting because Chelsea do a lot of scouting, but the first choice is Rice. I'm gonna give you my opinion another day on Rice, why I don't want him, but if he comes, so be it. Tuchel wants it, Tuchel can make his own, put his own coffin out, lie down in it and put in six, eight feet under with his Chelsea job because that signing could be the reason he gets sacked. You cannot have two back-to-back -back terrible signings and then go for a third one because you can't go from Saul to Lukaku to this. It doesn't work. Sad reality, but you have to accept it. Peeps, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.